What up guys, like I said, we are back for another review today and this time we're headed back to the US and actually over to the Midwest down to Dallas to take a look at fly number two like Palmay. Basically reached out to me and I was like yo they got some pretty damn nice design work when it came to the jar and just overall put in a, it seems like they put in a lot of effort to just what they put out, what they present, how they present themselves. And it seems like they also had some attention from like the larger public. So I figured why not let's go ahead and take a look at this matte finish medium hold palme. And of course let's look at the jar. Just look at that jar. I mean that is very nice, very clean. The red is super vibrant and just like the way it goes with the tint it's, it's beautiful very nice sans serif font choice very clean design work overall um red ink matched to the red lid thankfully with like a more slightly shiny but more of a brushed-esque uh, aluminum like bottom you have labeling and branding on the top around the sides and also on the bottom with the bottom having mostly the ingredients texas for the dallas base um, location and opening it up you do have the product inside which has a gel pomade-esque look to it so we're really kind of this should tell us a lot about the performance you have a, a logo underneath it all very nicely diffused by the product itself and as I had forgotten to mention, this is a three ounce jar. So three to four ounce, typical three is on the smaller side, but anyways, let's go ahead and use it. The smell of this pomade is, it's straight up cologne and there's not much of an herbalness or sweetness of any kind or anything to really help me describe it. It reminds me a lot of like what the Damon Barber does. Damon Barber being very damn, they're amazing with their fragrances, but like not as exotic as um, the Damon Barber, what they have been putting out. So, but either way, a pleasant smell. So I think we probably looked up maybe like two or three other gel pomades that had like a matte finish. And Despite what like um, other gel pomades have a kind of advertised in regards to like oh we have a, there's like shine to the finish or anything like that like kind of just what the lay right so obviously though what we've seen before as many of you like more experienced users know the gel pomades rarely ever hold on to a shine anyways and so a matte finish might not be I guess something that is necessarily new in regards to the performance but it would be more honestly a more transparent a more truthful way to describe um the finish of a gel pomade but applying it is easy scoops out like um, a gel pomade with more of like a kind of gel jelly uh texture rather than like a jam because that's honestly how I describe between the two different types of like kind of consistencies I've seen. One's more like a jam gives way and then another's more like a jello jelly type of thing that kind of has a little bit more resistance to it. But go ahead and get one more scoop and we should be good. Um, I feel a little bit of a grip coming out. Not necessarily a grip that had resulted from a like premature drying of this product. But either way it's still easy to apply and the grip really resides as you just add another touch of product in. By the way, that should be good. Let's go ahead and just comb everything back now. So, combs through super easily and uh, honestly feels very light right now. Um, the hold is definitely there, I can feel it, but I'm talking about like the weight, just the overall feel of it, because some gel pumice can be really goopy, but this one's very light, very nice, very comfortable. Go ahead, style it.
and boom very easy to work with very intuitive definitely just does what you expect it and what you need it to do so real quick I just realized this kind of want to clear up this uh, possible misunderstanding a lot of gel pomade companies have been releasing matte finished matte like pomades and those are definitely like texturizing products and this is a matte finish product but it's not necessarily one that's meant for texturing or at least the way it feels when I style not really like kind of really meant for that or doesn't really really push you to do that and so this is where you can consider something that's more like a really flexible really allows you to style a traditional pomade you could possibly even texture this up if you want but I'm actually going to keep this pretty clean today and just kind of allow that matte finish that neutral matte finish to really just come through and just keep things nice and simple not too loud and kind of keep things a little on the quiet side which is honestly sometimes I prefer that um, but overall to go through the whole list consistency definitely like super easy to scoop out has more of like a gel more similar to Swallow Seat though Lay Right very similar to Lay Right in consistency versus anything else more like uh, for example Admiral or something that's a little more jam like application super easy you feel a little bit of grip as you start to agitate it but as you add another scoop in it will soften up again this is not an issue when you start combing it through at all the finish is definitely like a matte neutral I would say it gives a matte, uh, a matte finish so they're definitely really accurate with that and so I appreciate that um, the slickness is like definitely on like the kind of slightly a little bit less than like what you see with like Swamp Seat Lay Right probably because of the matte finish so you do get a few strays but it's nothing that you can't control it's nothing like wild like like kind of like a texture or like a pace like, kind of getting out of control the hold definitely medium I think they were pretty spot on with that and the control overall you guys saw me styling in like two seconds very intuitive very easy to use so yeah so we'll go throughout a few days uh, go out give the product a few like hours to kind of test out and we'll come back and then see how well it performed through the day all right so we're at the end of the day let's go ahead and wrap up this review so as you can see things still look good it's not the most impenetrable or like kind of the most formidable like gel pomade on the market but it is definitely enough to get you through most of the day if not if you have a more relaxing day like mine then it should get you through the whole day you may get a few uh, stray hairs but it's nothing like you can't fix or you can't just kind of put back with a little bit like a touch of water um, the endurance is very much like the medium hold. It's very balanced, very reasonable. Restyling it, you can finger comb like uh, things back to keep it back. But the more you agitate it, the more it pops out, like any other gel pomade. Ideally, you have a source of water to kind of reactivate the product. But if not, you can at least get just with like a few like finger combs, you can get it back. But the more you work at it, the more that difficult that's going to be. Um, dryness or hardness, it definitely hardens like a gel pomade. So 100%, this is a gel pomade like hybrid. Um, like dryness though, definitely doesn't like really dry out your hair, and that's really cool because it is a matte finished product and it doesn't dry out your hair. That's very nice. Ends up a little more neutral um, throughout the day, but that is totally fine with me. But nice thing, as you can see, still have a lot of volume in my hair, which is pretty impressive. But yeah, so. I mean, at this point, we've seen, honestly, probably close to like 40, 40, 50 like different gel pomades. Um, I mean, that's a lot. And so, does this one stand out in any way? I guess we can say that like the, it's honest and it's truthful in its matte finish. So the finish is at least like super accurate. The, medium hold is also super accurate everything is very balanced it's not the strongest it's not the shiniest it's not the most matte it's not the most sexy it's not the most anything but it is very balanced and definitely one of like the more refined options we can use so honestly like i say with most gel pomades typically it's up to you who you choose to support support like a local one to you is typically what i do but so if you're from Texas or anywhere in the Midwest, Dallas, this one's from Dallas, like fly number two is definitely 
a good job pomade. It's something I would choose over like the later I original, would choose over like the Suavecito original like products. And so if you're still a fan of gel pomades, if you still use them on a daily just because they're super consistent, they're super like easy to you use, and also keep everything really clean because they wash out very easily. And like this is a, always a good option. And fly number two is also one of the good options you can choose. But yeah, so other than that, hope you guys got something out of this review. Take care guys and I'll see you guys another time.